You know, Solomon grew up in a family of singers. His father David wrote half the Psalms that we have in our Old Testaments. He was the first worship minister, if we could put it that way. Now, we don't know if after dinner in the palace, David would shout through the hallways saying, Solomon, Absalom, Adnan, Tamar, Bathsheba, come on in, break out the song books. We don't know that he did that. And we don't know what the family thought about it when he did it. But eventually, Solomon became a songwriter too. More than a thousand songs were written and credited to him, some of which we have in our Old Testaments. And it's interesting that Solomon had a similar theme to many of his songs. Solomon would be rather reflective about life and about family. Check out the new series, Hymns of Hope, on Praise and Harmony TV today. In this six-part series, Jeff Walling takes us on a journey through studying the Psalms and how they integrate with our modern worship not about the songs that were written maybe in the last hundred years or even in the last thousand years. No, we're going to reach back more than 2,000 years to Israel's hymnal, their hymnal of hope. Enjoy timeless stories about how we got some of our most beloved songs. When finally the telegram came through, and it's a famous one, it just had two words on it. The words came from Horatio Spafford's wife. And the two words were, saved, alone. And sing along with the praise and harmony singers. Check out Hymns of Hope on Praise and Harmony TV today.